He's still Ross. Hey, uh, <laughs> Ross from the band Prime Circle. I've been singing for in the uh, singing in the band for about 19 years. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's that's who me is. Who me is, mm. <laughs> and still love it. Eat, sleep, dream, rock and roll. Um, yeah, man, we 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 still love it. But I think the lockdown has given us time to take stock and actually to realize what uh, you know what you take for granted. I right. think that's the thing. Uh, definitely, definitely missing playing music together. I think you know we've been playing for so long that we sort of the time was amazing for me. Yeah. I heard that we were going to have to be postponing shows for a bit. I actually was kind of grateful because I was at a place where I really needed to take a break. Yeah. Um, I think it was like 19, 19 years of being in a band will cause you to just sort of uh, go to these. You need to like sort of take a break, and we just never could because right. it was always. Uh, you know, it's a financial thing, whatever. Now I just feel like I could take the break uh, and not feel like a dick. Of course. Yeah. And 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 by taking or, or by stepping, you say you wanted to step away. Is it like a, a solo project or just exploring other professions? Or, or yeah, well, the solo thing is definitely something that was going to be released. Now I was going to be releasing an album probably around this time. Right. Uh, but it just this whole thing just sidewinded it. Um, I was in LA and uh, I was in Nashville, I mean, at the beginning of the year and working with some great songwriters, which I've never done before. I've only worked with myself or the band. Mm. So working with some different songwriters, get a different kind of mindset and, and writing with these people. So that was kind of an amazing experience and um, came back and then everything was going to be ready. It was going to start performing now. So, but potentially maybe the end of the year, beginning of next year, I'll be releasing a record. Really? Yeah. What, First, sort, of, what sort of vibe? Um, the thing is, it's changing. I don't want it to sound like a Prime Circle album. Of course. Um, Which is going to be tough with your voice. It is right? going to be tough, and I think, but it's also, it's, it's, it's instrument choices, and I think, I mean, I'm a very big blues man. I love the blues, I love soul. So I'm going to maybe do more kind of soul. I don't know, let's see. I mean, it's, the songs that are showing up are very, very cool, so. Yeah. Yeah. So that, so that creative process of coming up is something Something like that. Why overseas? Why do you go overseas? Is it just is it just is it just more pedigree there? Or is it better producers, better guys to work with, or change of scenery, or what is it? Big change of scenery. I definitely think that like if you're writing in the suburbs, uh, kind of thing, then you're not going to be able to sort of feel uh, someone who's you uh, know like a one bedroom apartment in New York just hustling every day. It's a different mindset. Like right. I listen to a lot of music in a lot of different countries. Like if you put Nine Inch Nails on in Sundown. But then if you put it on in London, in the middle of the city, and you listen to the same song, music's gonna completely, it's gonna flip on its head, and then, I mean, I love listening to Minus Nails in cities, right. you know, those kind of things. Yeah. So it's just, it's sort of placement and, and sort of putting yourself in a creative space that is different, you yeah. know? Yeah. So not that they were better or anything, I mean, I did get connected to some really powerful songwriters, but I worked with a guy in London who's worked with Lady Antebellum and, and some amazing artists, and uh, yeah. That London write was, was amazing as well. Really? You know. So I'll be doing some writing with some people here as well. Oh, okay. Um, and just make it a real, just you know, best best shot at, at something that I really really love. You know? Yeah. You know. Just for the love of it, or is it something that you want to pursue? Uh, you know, pursue as. I mean, I don't want to get you in trouble or something like that. But is it going to be a long term or a one off thing? And Prime Circle will continue. I know it'll, it'll definitely be a long term thing. Um, for the love of, definitely. I mean, it's just I want to I want to create more, and I think I think sometimes like when we will come back from a tour, like I don't want to come back. I want to keep on touring. And yeah. the guys, you know, they're they're family guys, and I understand that it's you know the road is I mean, we're always touring, but I just for me it's it's all I'm all in. So I want to keep keep creating and, and keep keep performing. So you love it, or you want to get on a plane? Yeah, I'm not that interesting. It. It's sort of, <laughs> I'm quite a boring person. I just, I've been playing live music for so long that that's sort of all I really know how to do and really want to do, yeah, you know? Yeah. So yeah, down. It, it's been also maybe partially negative to me because my memory got to shit and <laughs> my life is sort of one big blur. But yeah, yeah I, I really just, I just want to be on the road. So if you, so if you work up literally you have no voice, I'd still be on the road somehow. I think the wheel's moving. I'd figure out ways to do set design or 
I do lyrics or I play guitar. It'll, it'll be in this kind of this kind of industry, right? Yeah, it'll always be in oh, music. Yeah. You consider anything else ever? I'm, I'm, but in talks now about doing a, a TV show, but it's going to be based around music. Um, oh, okay. And it's it's going to be quite interesting. So you're going to have to wait and see. But it's, it's some cool stuff. I mean, I'm a big fan of uh, sort of horrors and, and that kind of writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's something that's very big to me. And I'm, I've been writing a book since I was like 15. So what, maybe one day I'll, I'll release it's something. Book. Yeah. <laughs> Like I've, I've, I've got about three pages now, <laughs> but it, it's the stories are all there. It's got to really put it down. And, but now this could be another medium to do it. I, I've, got, I've got stake in a small like production company as well, yeah. and uh, I want. I always wanted to take. I, I started that to do sort of short films and those kind of things. Yeah. Um, and I think it's time now. All these kinds of things to take stock, you know. Uh, and music has always been a precedent. So I think I'll mix it up. You know. For sure, lockdown has made you think very heavily about that stuff. Yeah, big like, time. I missed I missed filming and stuff like that because we we I directed the the ghost music video and that was sort of like my first oh, yeah, endeavor yeah, into yeah. it and I loved doing it. I thought it was yeah. and the band was actually quite uh, amazing. I thought they'd be a bunch of dicks, but uh, they were they were listening and they were <laughs> they, they they were seeing my vision. You know? Yeah, so that's good. But they're talking about <laughs> talking around the corner. Yeah, it's like I don't know what he's thinking. This video is going to be shit. Yeah. And it was great. It was great. My yeah. favorite video. Oh, I still yeah. think one of the best. You know? <laughs> Yeah. Cool man, so I, I see a lot of bands you know, trying to do the online the online show now, yeah. you guys have got one lined up. Yeah, we got a big um, one coming up on the 8th and it's tricky because oh, 8th of August. Yeah, cool. so, so the thing is I think that a lot of people are just streaming, uh, like I've even done it on Facebook and stuff like that. Uh, it's just doing what, whatever we can. Um, uh, with this kind of stream that we're going to do now on the 8th is just done with this company that we they're called uh, uh, Militia. And they're they're amazing. They're an amazing company. So down to the camera angles and just a bunch of crazy people. But we're gonna probably, possibly we are going to be building two different stages. There's gonna be so you're doing it probably you're coming together as a band. You're not just doing it from your no. We're doing it all in one. It's all so proper like rock show, right? proper stuff. We're gonna yeah. put flames and uh, there, there's gonna be some collaborations as well. So it's gonna be a very interesting show. But the thing is, the more people buy and the more corporates get behind it, I think that's the way to do it as well. As corporates buy packages and. Sort of get out there and they give it to their their partners their people that work for them their employees you know and then send it out you yeah. know, that way so supporting yeah. the industry supporting us 10 percent goes to charity which is great that we can we can still help as well and uh, it just sort of gets us out playing so of course. we're excited about it. but the more that they get involved the more cool shit we can do right yeah. and that's what you want to do yeah yeah have you sold enough tickets it's going well, but well, it's... Can it's, there ever be any comedy now? I mean, well, the thing is, I mean, limited. I still believe that one day someone's going to do one gig, it's going to be from the kitchen or something, and it's going to be the biggest money spinner in the world. You never know, because the, the roof, there's no roof for the internet. So I think it's, people are still getting used to it, especially sort of, uh, maybe even Prime Circle fans. Uh, we, you know, we, were supposed, we started streaming about 10 years ago. But we didn't keep it consistently going. Stream what your events? We are. We streamed a couple of stuff in Germany. There was a, a few things like just us going into the woods, and there was a lot of fun stuff that we did. And uh, we had a stream channel, but then we, we you know, we we didn't think too far oh, yeah. ahead, and we were just like we were still sort of uh, in certain ways. And I, I think I wish we'd spent more time. No one thought. Yeah, but now I think it's going to be interesting to see how this goes into the future. Once people are coming back to shows, and still, I think we're going to still be broadcasting to the world. You know what I mean? Like, why would you stop selling tickets to an experience that you're putting on? Right. Yeah, so we're going to keep, possibly, I think a lot of bands will do it. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I think it'll... How many tickets have you sold? We have sold, I think, close to a thousand now, which okay. is not great, which again, is something that, uh, it's it's a new market, but I think it's pushing, it's pushing the whole time. Hopefully a last, like a, you know, last minute. Well, I mean, people like uh, Mark Lottering, uh, the comedian, has done exceptionally well. Where online his numbers are like massively more than what he would do on, on in crowds. Right. So there's been phenomenal stuff that's happened, and people have gone, "Wow!" So amazing for him. Good. Like there's a, it, it's it's how it translates. I think that's right, the big right, trick, right. Which, right. which he's done excessively well. Cool. Yeah. Where can you get tickets? You can go to Copy Ticket. They're on board with us, cool. and uh, yeah, get tickets. It's going to be a fantastic show. Eighth, eighth of August. Eight of August. School night. 
I think so. We hope it's a school night if they don't take the schools away. We don't know what's going to happen. Cool, man. I don't want to keep you too long. You've Thank obviously you. you've obviously met a lot of famous people, right? Yeah. You know, who's 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 the famous? The who's the the most famous? Yeah, who made you get like a schoolgirl when you met? Was you? President Nelson Mandela? Oh, okay. I think that was the biggest one. That's an me. obvious. Yeah, like I mean, but he was amazing. He had like a great sense of humor. Yeah, he was. He was always making uh, everyone like laugh. He was such a gentleman. That um, was at the at those um, what was Fortune Music Four yeah, concerts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the first time I ever saw him, my phone rang and he was giving like he was talking to everybody and they explicitly said turn your phones off. So I got the most evil stares from the room. And then the next time was at the, the <laughs> was at fan court and he said I, I want a job. I want to play drums in the band. Did he say that? Yeah, and we were laughing. He said any time we fired our drummer on the spot at the time. <laughs> uh, can you imagine? But uh, yeah, he was a very very amazing man. That's but cool. I think in the music sense of things, um, uh, we Mark Tremonti mm. was just amazing because we got to tour with Alter Bridge quite a few times now. And, uh, just seeing his setup backstage, like he's got so many amps and he plays for hours before he goes on stage. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's amazing. And we all go up to like the, <clears throat> the cake stand where all the cakes are and everything. And then there's the other bands all eating like green juice and stuff. And there's Prime Circle having cakes and beers and just fucking loving, <laughs> loving life. But uh, yeah, just seeing how the, the regime was, it was such an inspiring. Yeah. It's about thing. Yeah. And then I bet you you also dream about meeting certain musicians and then and then you meet them and they just knock the guy you thought they were right. I'm, yeah, I'm very scared to meet certain people. Like I had a, a a meeting with or not a meeting, but I was walking we played a festival and Korn was one of the headlines. Yeah. And Jonathan Davis was walking past and I just went, man, like that and then thank you. And that was all I needed to do. I needed just I didn't, didn't want to meet him. Yeah. I was happy enough with that. I mean certain people uh, I've met Peter Gabriel before for a split second, but uh, that would have broken my heart if he was an asshole. You know what I mean, that would have just ended. Me. Yeah. But yeah, a few, a few people. There has been some bad ones. Don't, well. don't burn any people now. So no, I won't burn anyone. Burn but it's, 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 yeah, yeah, there has been a, a few. Uh, cool, Ross. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Here we go. Cool. Yeah. Anybody want to say hi to? <laughs> just thanks to everyone. I hope everyone's fine in lockdown and uh, look after yourselves and sweet. All the best. Anything, and quickly, anything Prime Circle's uh, recording soon? Prime Circle is working on a new single, which will be out, we hope, in the next sort of month. Cool. Yeah. So, and it's an extremely beautiful song. Uh, we're just trying to get it right. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. Have a good one. Thank you.